Hi everybody. Some bitter, bitter, bitter truth here. And, and I'm being brutally honest with you. If you hate these three people, I'm talking about Kiba Andrew, I'm talking about Amerix, I'm not sure even if it's, it's a real person, Amerix, and then I'm talking about um, Andrew, Andrew Ted. If you hate those three gentlemen, then either either of these three things you are either of these three things either you are have not been around long enough you still are a child so you've not been around the the, the 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 face of the earth for long number two you've not been around women for long especially when i'm talking about women well dating them not just being around your sister or your mom uh, but also that's part of the experience or finally you you just okay all right, you okay being weak. You okay being a girl in a man's body. All right, and I'm saying this. I'm trying to really check my words so I don't rub anyone the wrong way. But if it does, I I do not care at this point. Uh, for me, if you ask me, I think we have been doing a huge, huge disservice to both genders trying to get them to the same level right and that's that's the only reason i like or i, I support was this support or i agree with some of the things those three gentlemen uh, advocate for i understand there's a very thin line between toxic masculinity and being work and um, most people can tell the difference but a few cannot uh, but it's, it's, it's important for everyone to stay woke, both men and women. Because today, if you check, all right, uh, we have a lot of people, a lot of men, a lot of boys being brought up by moms, their moms alone without their dads. So it's important for everyone to stay woke and to understand what these, the, the ideologies some of these guys teach uh, so that you can pass that uh, forward to your to your what to your kids or to your sons uh, for the moms moms watching this um, without saying much I must say that I think the idea of gender equality is um, an idea that has cost us and is going to cost us a lot of trouble going forward this is why men and women are built differently. Men are men, women are women. From the way we are wired to the way we behave, uh, we are different. So trying to tell me that saying that a woman is better in the kitchen than other places where men do better is um, uh, being a sexist or... Uh, being inconsiderate, I take that as um, as ignorance. In science, we believe that a woman's uh, mind is built different from a man's mind. It, it, it's, it's true. You've seen it. A woman is uh, a lady is able to make better meals than men. All right, in the kitchen. For, I'm just using kitchen as an example here. Uh, and then when you go to other industries, you find where men do better. So instead of trying to make every woman a man, and then every man a woman, I believe we should embrace that we have men and women. And we have a reason they were created. So if you are a religious person, you know, a man was built differently, was created differently from a woman. If you believe in science, you believe that you, it's the same. Two different people meant to complement each other, not to compete. Not the woman trying to be the man or the man trying to be the woman. And I think we've been doing a big mistake. We do not, we have enough women in this world. We do not need, we do not need any man becoming a woman. Just like we have enough, enough men in this world and do not need any woman becoming a man. 
We need men to be men, strong men for that matter, and we need women to be women, to be strong women, to be who they were built to be. That's how you're going to get the most from men as you get the most from women. I've only given you an example of the kitchen. I also believe men are better, all right, on the road than women. Men are better drivers than, than, than women. You'll find a man who, has only, who, who is 16 years old is able to fix his bicycle, is able to drive, can park comfortably, or can fix his car in a parking spot, a tight parking spot, uh, comfortably. But then you'll find a woman who has been driving for 10 years who is struggling to fit his car in a tight parking spot. Why? The woman's mind is just built that way. Just like women are more caring, they're more emotional, they're more attached. You, you can't take that from, from them. You can't take that away from them. It's not just about the environment. It's just the way they are built. And men, on the other hand, they're the opposite. And these two are meant to complement each other. If you want to know I'm right, go watch some animals. Go to the wilds. Um, and watch, watch how animals behave. Men or male animals behave different from female animals. It's just the way it is. So do not try to make us women or try to make women men. You'll fail terribly and you'll get the least from each of us. If you want us to operate optimally, you let us be who we were built to be. So am I saying this? I think most of the things we've been trying to do um, uh, has been failing. All right, both genders. We should let, and that's why I, I let, I, uh, well, I agree, or I agree with some of the things these uh, men, those those three men I mentioned earlier, do. So without out of the way, these are the ten things, um, ten ideologies from Kibe, and I'll tell you the ones I agree and disagree with. The first one is that a man needs a bigger purpose than just chasing women. That I agree with 100%. That I agree with 100%. And again, I like using animals. If you go to the jungle, you find that animals have bigger responsibilities, a bigger purpose, something more they do than just chasing women around. All right? They have something they wake up to do, not to look at women. So a man, and I agree with this 100%, needs to have a bigger purpose. Not waking up and going to bed every day thinking about women. No, it's, it's not right. It's not right. A man needs to have a bigger purpose. Changing the world. Alright? Feeding his family. Feeding himself. Those are the kind of things I'm talking about. Leading and much, much more. Number two, most friends will turn uh, their backs on you when you're in trouble. That, that goes without saying. There's nothing like friendships today. It's just a merry-go-round, if you didn't know. Uh, people just helping you today so you can help them tomorrow, and some of the women will disappear, will take advantage of you. It's just the nature. It's just how things are. So do not depend on them. Do not leave your place of work to go support a friend. Do not leave your hustle to be in a friend's birthday. What are you doing? Your best friend today, two things. God, these are your two best friends. God and number two, your money. So if there's someone you should listen to every time they call on you, it's your money and God. The rest, they're just there for convenience. The word is convenience, and that's what it is. Number three, marriage is bullshit. The three guys all advocate for that. And I must say, to some extent, being a scientist who believes in numbers, statistics, I also believe that so, to some extent, not entirely. Why? According to research, 60 more than 60 percent of marriages end up in divorce 60 percent then around 20 percent of marriages of people remain in marriages because of kids 
So 60 plus 20, that's a cool 80%. So more than 80% of marriages are broken. So why spend your whole life working on something that will most likely 80% chance to end up in a divorce? It's a waste of time. It's bullshit if you ask me. It's only 20% of marriages that stick. Not that are successful. That st at least stick. And they are managing. The word is managing. So you'll realize maybe it's 5 to 10% of the people married today that are happy. So it should be a by the way. It should not be something you, you focus your entire life on. You call everyone requesting for... Uh, their support, their presence in your in your wedding. Come on, there's more to it. There's more to life, and so I agree with that with them, because of the numbers. I mean, you can't argue with numbers unless you're a fool. If you're a fool, yes, argue with the numbers and say, you know what, eighty percent is okay. I can, I still have a chance. But if you believe in numbers and if you are brilliant, if you are honest with yourself, then you'll also agree it's bullshit. Number four. That whole women are whores. Whores. That's not true. That's not. That can't be further than the truth. If you said most or some, I would agree. But all oh, no. We have women of dignity out here. I know women who are even of, women of substance. Women, of course, we have women who fall in love or pretend to fall in love because someone has the resources just like we have men who do things because a woman is pretty and, and, and much much more however not all women are whores we have women who uh, respect themselves women of dignity and personally have a lot of respect for such women they're very few they're rare rare to find but they're there they exist and those are the real women. The rest are the corrupted ones. And we should not use those to judge the rest. So not all women are whores. Number five. Stop dating. That's what those guys advocate for. Stop dating and avoid women and focus on your hustle. Again, again I have to say this. Advocating for men to hate women is evil. Why? You can't exist. You can't avoid women. How do you avoid women? Everywhere you go, there's a woman. I mean, from the family you're in, to your places of work, everywhere. So how, how are you telling me to avoid women? Just guide me on how to handle the evil kind of women but do, do not tell me to avoid them. It's impossible to avoid them. I mean, I, if I go through you every, every man's phone book, in fact, you'll mostly find that most people on that phone book are women. So you can't avoid them. You really can't avoid them. You just need to learn how to manage them because women, women are women. Women are needy. Women are jealous. And I can go on and give you a list of qualities common qualities of women but avoiding them is not a solution you just need to learn how to manage them so i don't entirely agree with them on that number six is that you are women is your money or are your money that's also not true um it doesn't mean when you have all the money you can afford or you can have any woman again as i said earlier we have women of substance in fact we have women who hate people all right or who dislike people who have and show off their money yeah they're women who just want to find someone simple and then they build with them again they are very rare and they are very few i am woke to that fact and chances of you finding one are very in but if you find one stick with them but that doesn't mean they don't exist they do but most women are not in that category. So maybe 80 to 20, again, 80 to 20 rule also operates there. Or, or uh, 80 to 20 rule uh, can be used in that instance. 80% of women, you can lure them with your money. But 20%, the rare type, you cannot. Number seven, 
if you need your woman to work then you are poor in today it's 2023 again i do not agree with that it's 2023 and the woman has been empowered um all right uh, the man is already in power if you ask me so in fact denying your woman a chance to contribute is if you ask me um looking down on them because they, they have been empowered what do you expect them to do with their knowledge they have the knowledge what do you expect them to do with their papers with the experience you you just want them to sit uh, back and wait for you to do everything for them no no so i would say for that it depends on the woman you're talking about here if it's a woman who is has been empowered then go ahead and give give her a chance to contribute when she she wants to but as a man you have to raise the bar and do better of course i'm not saying men should now be fed by the women for the traditional women you can that applies a hundred percent because the traditional woman has no special skills rather than just being in the house and taking care of the kids and the family so that that that, that can work but the modern woman will want to be a part of it and when you deny her that chance she feels like you don't value her anymore and her contribution so you need to give her that chance but of course a man needs to do more number eight is simping <laughs> i don't know where that, that word came from i do not know if that exists uh, in the dictionary let, let me do a search let me find out let me find out if it exists simping 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 i don't think this is an english word honestly honestly to try too hard to do what someone wants especially in a romantic relation it, wait it's an english word simp ah. yeah it's trying to too hard to do what someone wants especially in a romantic relationship yes that's for weak men so i agree with them entirely 100 percent on simping same thing is for the weak men and women do not they might want to be around a, a weak a weak man for a few minutes a few hours but in the long run they want a strong man they want a man who dominates them they want an alpha male that's what they want to, uh, to be the father of their kids not the simp and if you're a simp then you have a lot of work to do it's wrong to be a sin. Be strong. Be a man. All right? Be the male version of a human being. That's why you're a male. Come on. Come on. Stop being weak, soft, too soft and too understanding, too caring. You're trying to be a woman. As I said earlier, we have enough women. You should not be one of them. Number nine, polygamy. And all of them agree on that one uh, they agree on polygamy and they embrace or advocate for polygamy i also agree and advocate for the same again i'm a scientist I, I i i believe i don't believe much in religion as i believe in science and according to science males are born polygamous in nature in nature even for other animals. And don't forget, we're just animals, by the way. Only that we have a better thinking uh, capacity than some of those animals. And those animals are mostly, not mostly, they are polygamous. So men are built to be polygamous. That's why you see them around um, just checking out women and doing stuff. It's, 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 it's not easy for, for a, strong, a strong man to stick with one woman. It's not easy. I'm not saying it's impossible. It can be done. It can be done, but it's not easy. So I agree. Polygamy, uh, there's a reason it, there's a law to allow people to be polygamous, men to marry or people to marry two, three wives. It's because, yeah, uh, men have their needs and sometimes they need two, three uh, women to, to, to satisfy them. Finally, number 10, on religion, on religion. 
Uh, I don't agree entirely with them. Uh, they, some of them go up and down. Today they are eat religion, the next minute they're not. Uh, but for Kibe, for example, he is against, not against, he, he doesn't promote religion. And religion, especially as it is in Africa, uh, it's an opium. I just remember that word there. Um, opium. Yes. It's an opium for the poor. I'm looking for the word opium. Yes, opium is an uh, 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 an escape, um, kind of addictive, non-synthetic narcotic that is extracted from a poppy plant, uh, Papava somnif. Ferrum, uh, whatever that is, um, is a dried latex of the opium meaning. Let me search for opium. A reddish brown heavy, da, 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 da. Uh, something regarded as inducing a false and unrealistic sense of contentment among people someone once said it's an opium for the poor and i agree i agree uh, religion as it is it's an opium for the poor that's why we have different religions to accommodate different people if it was the right thing we could have be having one religion and all of us would be following that but as it exists it's it's just another uh, thing we follow for you know uh, to live in harmony, all right, uh, for convenience, uh, for some people to collect some funds from us and in the name of uh, offering or 10% or whatever that other thing is. Uh, so I also do not go for, I do not support. I do not. I honestly, I believe in God. I believe in God, but I also believe in science. And therefore, I do not believe in religion anymore. Honestly, I do not believe in religion anymore. The things you see people do out here, eh, including fast. Why do you need to fast? Why do you need to um, appear somewhere physically to pray to God? Well, you can still pray to the same God from wherever you are. Why? Tell me why. Why is it Sunday set for people to congregate together? For them to pray. They are still praying to the same God. Why can't you pray from wherever you are? It's just, just an opium. It's just a convenient uh, thing for some people. And a way of letting people live, live in harmony. Knowing that there is a, a being watching over them. So those are the ten um, ideologies from Mr. Kibe. And that's what I think about them. Let me know what you think. I know especially the last one is quite... Uh, what controversial the, the topic of religion is quite quite sensitive so let me know what you think do you believe in religion yourself drop your comment in the, uh, in the comment section below and i'll be sure to answer you all right thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one and don't forget to subscribe i do not ask for that every time but i just realized more than 80 percent of people who watch my videos according to youtube do not subscribe. I have not subscribed to this channel. So please do me a favor. In fact, do your, be yourself the biggest favor. Subscribe to this channel and you'll be notified every time I do some new content. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.